so I want to mention something about powers of attorney, whether that would be financial powers of attorney or medical powers of attorney. Um, unfortunately, I get calls all the time when family members want to get a power of attorney for a loved one who's already in the hospital, who already has complications that make them incapacitated or unable to make decisions for themselves. Unfortunately, at that point in time, that person can no longer give that power of attorney to their family member to act on their behalf. Okay. The whole idea of a power of attorney is for that person to give authority to someone else while they um, have the ability to choose who they want helping them, who they want representing them, who they want making medical or financial decisions. Okay. But as soon as that person becomes incapacitated, as soon as that person can no longer make their decisions, okay, they cannot sign away a power of attorney for anyone else. They're, they're already in a situation that requires okay, someone to act on their behalf. And so unless they've already appointed someone to act on their behalf, okay, then the family is going to have to go through probate court and ask a judge for the permission to make decisions on that, um, on that person's behalf, whether it's financial decisions or medical decisions. So it is very critical, okay, to understand if you want to put these things in place for yourself and for your family so that they avoid having to go through hoops and ladders to make decisions on your behalf. You need to do it while you are healthy, while you have the capacity to appoint someone else to step into those shoes. Because once you need the document, once you need that power of attorney, okay, then it's really too late to give that power to someone else without going through the court process. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope it can maybe um, help you or your family avoid the need to um, go through what some, some of these other families are going through when someone's in the hospital. And so this power of attorney is a very critical piece that should be included in anyone's estate plan, okay? Someone comes to my office saying they just want a simple will, whatever they think that means. I always require that I provide them a power of attorney as well, okay? Because planning um, for your estate is just as much part planning for life, okay, while you're alive, you know, uh, you could be in the hospital, but you're still alive. You still have assets. You still have decisions to make. Um, and so planning for life just as much as it is planning for uh, when you pass away. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, thank you for listening. I appreciate you. And I will talk to you next time.